Welcome to Module 5, Lesson 16. Let's get started. Today we will be learning how to place fractions between whole numbers on the number line. We are learning this so that we can understand fractions as equal parts of a whole. We will know that we're successful today when we can draw and label a whole number fraction on a number line. This is a number line. This number line has endpoints of 1 and 2. There is one hole between the endpoints. Let's partition the hole in four equal lengths, or fourths. Next, we will label each mark with a fraction. How many fourths are in one hole? There are four fourths in one hole. How many fourths are in two holes? There are eight fourths in two holes. One is equivalent to four fourths. That means it's equal to 4 fourths. 2 is equivalent to 8 fourths. One is at the same point as 4 fourths on the number line. 2 is at the same point as 8 fourths on the number line. Next, we can label the marks between 1 and 2. Each mark is equal to 1 fourth. So the number line starts at 1, which is equivalent to 4 fourths. So if we go up one-fourth, that means we add one part to the top. So the next mark would be five-fourths. And each mark is equal to one-fourth, so the numbers get larger by one-fourth, going from left to right. So we started at four-fourths. Next is 5 fourths, 6 fourths, 7 fourths, and 8 fourths. Here's another number line. This number line has endpoints of 2 and 4. What whole number is missing between 2 and 4? The whole number 3 goes between 2 and 4. Let's partition the number line in thirds. How many thirds are in two holes? Remember, in one hole there will be three thirds. So how many thirds are in two holes? Six thirds. How many thirds are in three holes? Nine thirds. How many thirds are in four holes? 12 thirds. So 2 is equivalent to 6 thirds, 3 is equivalent to 9 thirds, and 4 is equivalent to 12 thirds. That means they're at the same place on the number line. Next, we can label the fractions between, between 2 and 3 and between 3 and 4. Each mark is equal to 1 third. So as you can see, we started at 6 thirds and we're going up by 1 third each time. So it's 6 thirds, 7 thirds, 8 thirds, 9 thirds or 3, 10 thirds, 11 thirds, 12 thirds or 4. Partition the number line into thirds. Label the holes as fractions and box them.
The endpoints are 4 and 5. And we're partitioning into thirds, so there should be three parts in between, 4 and 5. So first I need to know what fraction is equivalent to 4. I would multiply 4 times 3 to get my top number. That's my numerator. And the denominator is going to be a 3 for thirds. Now I'm going up by one third each time, so there will be 13 thirds, 14 thirds, and one more third would be 5 wholes, or 15 thirds. So this is a whole. that's equal or equivalent to this fraction. And this is a whole number that's equivalent to this fraction. The whole number four is equivalent to 12 thirds. The whole number 5 is equivalent to 15 thirds. Now it's your turn. Partition the number line into fourths. Label the fourths as fractions and box them. Do your very best work, and when you're satisfied with your answer, you can look in the description box below to check your answer against the correct answer. Go ahead and pause the video now, and I will see you in the next video.